Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, and my video chakra tells me it's time for another two-minute tech tip. <laughs> Dropping the tip bombs in this episode is Dan McGann. Dan is an Oracle developer advocate with a focus on JavaScript and HTML5. So, let's put the clock on Dan's tip and see what happens. And the clock starts now. All right, so get to know Node.js. I'm sure a lot of folks are wondering what exactly is Node.js. It's basically all about JavaScript. JavaScript needs a runtime environment in which to work. It's really no different than PL SQL needing Oracle Database. Of course, all browsers have such a JavaScript runtime environment. Google Chrome is no exception. Um, basically, Google Chrome's environment is called V8. It's um, known to be one of the very best JavaScript runtime environments in existence. And Google Chrome is also open source, which allows developers to use its code base in new and interesting ways. Node.js is a perfect example. Back in 2009, a guy named Ryan Dahl took the uh, V8 JavaScript environment or runtime out of Chrome and plugged it directly into the operating system. And then with just a few lines of JavaScript code, he wrote an HTTP web server that was able to accept incoming HTTP requests, generate a response, and then send out that response to the client. Now, this had never been done before, and so the talk received a standing ovation because all of a sudden folks that knew JavaScript had a lot more capability than they had prior to that talk. Flash forward to 2011, we saw the introduction of the Node Package Manager, or NPM, which is basically a central repository for all of the packages that people are writing for Node.js. Um, at this point, we have over 160,000 packages of in Node, so you can do everything from create a web server to connect to Oracle. That's right, Oracle now has a driver for Node.js, so you can access all the data you know and love and process it within Node. Ready to get started with Node.js? Just go to nodejs.org, click the install button to install Node.js in your operating system, then look to the bottom of that page Ten and you'll seconds. see six lines of code that allow you to create the web server that Ryan Dahl created back in 2009. You can have that up and running in about 30 minutes or less. Enjoy getting to know Node.js. Oh, this is like a dream I've had. Let us know what you think of Dan's tip by clicking one of the thumb icons just below this video on the YouTube page. Stay tuned.